guys, it's Ro. It is the holiday season and I wanted to make a theme treat. I was out shopping and I found the cutest little thing. I had been craving some hot cocoa and marshmallows and these are snowflake shaped marshmallows and they come in a little pack. I found these at Sir La Table and I thought, hmm, not everyone has a Sir La Table by them. So I wanted to show you how to make these at home. I just thought these were a really cute treat idea or they could make a really cute gift. I also found these mugs at the store. Oh, <gasps> look at this. You could make the little marshmallow hot cocoa toppers and then put them in a cute mug. <gasps> so today we are going to be making holiday marshmallow hot cocoa toppers. Yum, yum, yum. The things you'll need to make these holiday marshmallow hot cocoa toppers will be one and a fourth cup of light corn syrup, three fourths cup of water, three cups of sugar, four packets of powdered gelatin, an additional measurement of three fourth cup of water, some powdered sugar for dusting, a pinch of salt, and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Then to decorate a mini snowflake cookie cutter, a three inch circle cookie cutter, some extra powdered sugar for coating the marshmallows, mini chocolate chips, and some orange gummy candies. First step to making homemade marshmallows, pour one of the measurements of 3 4 cup of water and your powdered gelatin into a medium sized bowl. Now gently mix with a spoon to make sure it's all wet. Doo -doo -doo. Set it off to the side for about 5 minutes and allow it to bloom. Next in front of me I have light corn syrup the second measurement of water, and some sugar. Pour all of these into a medium sized sauce pot. Then using a spatula, mix together till there's no more dry sugar, and then we'll take the pot over to the stove. Turn the stove heat to medium high and place the candy thermometer into the pot. Cook the sugar syrup until it reaches 238 degrees, then Take the pot back to the baking station. Our sugar syrup is ready. It's fresh, hot off the stove, so be careful. It's still very hot. Our gelatin mixture has bloomed, so pour this all into a mixing bowl. Looks so funny. Boop. Then close this. Lock it in place. I'm gonna turn the stand mixer on a low speed and while it mixes, slowly pour in the hot sugar mixture. Once it's mixed for a few minutes, add the salt and crank it up to a high speed for a few more minutes. This is gonna turn into a liquid to like a fluffy meringue. It's gonna be pretty cool. I've mixed for about eight minutes. Now add your vanilla and mix again on a low speed just until combined. Ooh, look at that. Hello, marshmallow. Once your marshmallow mixture is ready, pour it into a cookie sheet lined with a piece of parchment paper and make sure you've sprayed with a bunch of baking spray so that the marshmallows easily pop out. Once you've spread out your marshmallows, we're gonna let it sit out at room temperature for three hours. So you can watch a couple holiday movies. Ooh, yes. After you've let the marshmallows set, now's the fun part. It's time to make it snow. Using some powdered sugar, cover the whole work surface because you don't want the marshmallow to stick to the table. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Take your pan of marshmallows and flip it over right on top of the powdered sugar. It's gonna come out because I've greased the pan. You just gotta wait, be a little patient, give it a little jiggle, let gravity do its thing. <laughs> Hello, fresh marshmallows. Mmm, yum. I just finished greasing my hands so that they won't stick. Now just cut out a bunch of shapes. I'm gonna be cutting out a bunch of circles for the snowman, and then I'm gonna place it right over here on the surface that's covered with powdered sugar so it won't stick. And little mini snowflakes. Once you have all your snowflakes cut out, you wanna make sure all sides are covered in powdered sugar so that all of the sticky marshmallow is covered. I put my little snowflakes over here off to the side. Then in front of me, I wanted to show you how to decorate a couple little snowman faces. The reason we're using a three inch cookie cutter is because it's the perfect size to fit on the top of the mug. So imagine you have some hot cocoa and then a cute little snowman and marshmallow to go on top. <gasps> yes, and you curl up and you watch all of your holiday movies. Yes, 
I did not put powdered sugar on the top of their faces yet because I wanted these little candies to stick easily. Take two mini chocolate chips, boop, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then five on the bottom for his mouth. Oops. Then for the iconic snowman carrot nose, we have some orange gummies. And cut them up like I did here, then just stick one in the middle. Boop. Ah! So cute! And there you have it. We made holiday marshmallow hot cocoa toppers. We made homemade marshmallows and little snowflakes and snowmen. Ooh. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this recipe and a bunch of pictures will be on rosannapancedo.com, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So you can check it out there. And if you guys make this recipe, please take a picture and send it to me. I love seeing your baking creations, especially when they're adorable little snowmen. Look at... Look how cute! I can't! If you have any other ideas for any other videos, let me know in the comments below. And now I'm gonna have one of these for me. I filled my cup with a little hot cocoa and I put them right on top and let them melt. <gasps> yes! It's melting, it's melting, and it is the cutest thing in the world. Look at this, it fits perfectly on top. All right, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye and happy holidays!